Hey YouTube land, this is uh, Nick Haygood back with Water Oaks Plantation, uh, formerly known as the Active Duty Outdoorsman. All right, so today uh, what I was doing, I was stacking a bunch of lumber, uh, well, pulp wood if you will, uh, trying to clean up our driveway uh, so that way when you come into it, uh, it's a we want it to be more like a field. Uh, we want it to be lined with uh, either fruit trees or some hydrangeas. Um, or maybe even some azaleas, uh, some sort of flowery bushes. And uh, we want it to be a beautiful uh, hardwood only section. Uh, it's gonna be a little hard, especially because we are in Alabama and we are a pine tree farm, um, primarily. So uh, I'll drive a little bit forward here. I'll show you all the work that has been done so far. And um, tell me what you think. All done by hand and a 14 inch chainsaw, pretty tough. Starting off, we've got some wild roses growing. All right, so here is our road. So far, I've taken all this area out. So you got a big bush right there. You got all these trees right here. You can see where I cleared it out in that little section. We've got some more wild roses growing right there. I don't know if you can see them. Here's the power line that actually runs up to our house. Uh, we've got some more stacks. I'll just roll down this road so you can see. All of that on that side is not our problem. So that telephone pole, that telephone line is where we want to do all of our planting. All right, so that was it uh, on that part. The telephone pole, telephone line. Uh, we want to plant that with some sort of heavy cover crop, uh, maybe some hairy vetch, something really good for quail. Uh, we're trying to promote and bring back as much bob white quail as we can um hopefully we can we're going to use this as like a transition session section uh we're going to cut some bicolor lespediza all over the place we're going to do some hairy vetch we're going to do some sorghum we're going to do some oats uh we're not going to harvest any of it we're just going to let it grow and when it dies uh we'll grow another cover crop on it and we're just going to keep trying to keep trying to rotate it um or we might do some just basic CRP, some uh, some grasses. Uh, maybe do a burn. I don't know. I don't know yet. Uh, hopefully soon we can work with the NRCS, uh, get up with them and have them come out, take a look, and have them give us some advice. And we'll go from there. All right. Well, that's it for today. Uh, just a quick update. Heading back up to the cabin. See y'all later.